Now let's take a trip north, way north, to another site that we visited as part of this program, St. Raphael the Archangel Church on Route 45 in Old Mill Creek. That parish was founded in 2007, and a converted farm building has served as a St. Raphael Church. But now a new church is taking shape. Well, kind of new. The church will be unique because most of its facade is from St. John of God Church in Chicago. That church closed in 1992. It has been disassembled stone by stone and trucked to the far north suburbs where it is being pieced back together. In, in reality, what has happened here, we have been able to, to put up a, a, a church of, of this size that would have been probably about similar, close to the same expense that we would have had to build a modern church for, uh, almost the same kind of expense. Uh, but we are, or we are getting an edifice here, uh, a church that looks so much like a church, uh, treasured, uh, is filled with faith from the community that uh, had built it initially, uh, the exterior and interior, because the interior came, is coming from another church that was shuttered, uh, St. Uh, Peter Canisius, uh, was on North Avenue, North and Laramie. And uh, those two communities, St. John of God's community and St. Peter, are so excited that their churches have been, in a way, resurrected, that there's new life in, uh, from the faith communities that meant so much to them. So we're building something so outstanding, and, and it's going to be, uh, I would say, one of the most beautiful churches in all of Lake County, Illinois. Many, many folks uh, are, are so excited about this because it, uh, it, it brings back uh, uh, both the tradition and, uh, and, and, the, and the strong faith and, uh, and recollections and uh, memories of what the Catholic Church had always meant to them growing up. Uh, this symbolizes all of that, and they want to, again, re-engage and be part of it. I think uh, uh, an edifice like this uh, uh, really makes people feel like they, they want to come home, you know, because uh, this is kind of home uh, in the church, uh, a building like this. You can keep up to date on the progress of this unique construction project by visiting the St. Raphael the Archangel website at straphaelcatholic.org.